What's up guys and welcome back to another episode of career mode This is the seventh episode of the series and today we've got three more games with Aston Villa and three really good ones as well uh, Two in the league and also one in the Carabao Cup against Premier League opposition for the first time Newcastle United uh, First we've got Fulham struggling Fulham at home uh, who so far only picked up two wins from their first 12 games Then that Carabao Cup round of 16 clash at home to Newcastle United so excited to take on Rafa Benitez's boys Our first test VPL opposition and the third and final game I can't wait wait for this one we're away at St Andrews for our first ever second City Derby clash and that is going to be an amazing game because both teams have started off really well and have the same record right now we just scored one well, we got one better uh, in the goal difference swing right now so what a brilliant rival clash that is going to be to end today's episode off so uh, yeah three big games uh, let's get to the first one it is indeed Fulham at home uh, yeah let's just jump straight into it so first game of today's episode on the back of consecutive 3-0 victories against Bolton at home and Wolves away at Molyneux so no change to the formation headings of this game because I don't want to jinx it but we're playing very well with a 3-5-2 now and finally starting to score some goals but there is one change to our lineup after that win away against Wolves and that is James Chester coming back into the starting 11 and no Christopher Samba today because he's got 31 for stamina so even after seven days he's still not fit enough to play the game so yeah first game for them I expect us to win after picking our form up and hopefully score a few more goals as well let's get it done of course that does mean no Clint Dempsey in the, the moment, starting no 11 either despite him having a and fantastic start to the again. year that injury picked up at the first game of the last episode Looking means he does stay moment. on the bench due to Josh Onoma playing really well in his absence so no need to drop the kid on loan may as well keep him in the team whilst he plays so well and speaking of the devil here is right now is a burning what can he do oh forces a fabulous save out of button he turns behind for a corner Josh Onoma is capitalizing big time after Dempsey's knock. Still 0-0, but the first chance coming to him. And then Kodja also forcing a save out of button. A couple of good saves there. Still 0-0, but this is what we want to see. Aston Villa starting off on the front foot and looking for that first goal. Obviously, Jonathan Kodja has really picked it up as well. He had a very poor start to the season, but... He, uh, he scored a lovely goal away at Molyneux. And uh, this man, Bustos, as well. I'm really liking him in the right midfield role. We signed him. Ah, poor pass for me. We signed him to be a right back in this team in a four at the back formation. But we've moved him to right midfield. And I tell you what, I'm absolutely loving him. His crosses are good. And his pace is electric. And his finishes aren't quite the best yet. Still, oh, Button, what another brilliant save. Still searching for his first goal for the club. But right now, David Button is making save after save. It's all Aston Villa to begin with. But we just can't beat this guy. He's unstoppable. This is one of those players that has had so many loans throughout the course of his career, particularly early on uh, while he was at Spurs. Found a little bit of a home for himself at Brentford. But uh, now he's moved on to Fulham. And, uh, well, Fulham fans must be loving him right now as it is still 0-0. And if it wasn't for him, we'd be two, three, four goals up already in these first 22 minutes. Can't fault the effort. The goalkeeper's just on fire. Cissé through to Lucas Piazon. And that pass is poor. Bustos with the attack. interception. You know what I really like about Bustos as well? He gets forward a lot down that right hand side, Bustos. causes problems when attacking, but also defensively helps out on defense too. Here's as he is, of course, Oliver. a right back by trade. And here's Kodja. Oh, here. nice turn. And straight into the gloves of Button. That's the easiest save for him this afternoon. Still 0 0, but it will still count towards a save in his stat sheet. And right now, David Button is just racking those up as it is still 0 0, despite an excellent first half an hour. There's Yedinak now. Finds Onoma. Onoma to Brereton. Quick one to Akodja if we can. Can we get him inside? Oh, no. Brilliant defending there. But, oh, it's a penalty. It's a penalty. And it, it's David Bunn who seems to be the guilty party. Oh, it's a red card. It's a red card for Bunn. And he is off. And Brereton saying, what would you do that for, bruv? But I, I thought it was just, oh, that is really harsh. That is really, really harsh. And Marcus Bettinelli is going to come on. And, uh, and Cissé is going to be sacrificed. And for Fulham, Button, who started off the game so well, is now replaced after a controversial red card. And since this career mode is a bit like my old ones, really, it's a little bit more chilled and laid back, I'm going to do what I used to do in my old career modes. When I have a debatable penalty, just chip it down the middle to be fair. And I think that's the right thing to do. That is never, ever a penalty. It's never, ever a red card. And, and Fulham, really harshly done by there. That is never a spot kick. But that'll do it for the first half, which was action-packed and eventful, it's to say the very there. least. It's still 0-0. We should be in front. Half. David Button made some incredible saves and then was sent off in a wild, yeah, controversial, and let's be honest, wrong red card decision. But it is still 0-0. And uh, maybe the fair play will come back to haunt us as we're still yet to break the deadlock. Oh, poor pass. Onoma, Brereton. This should be 1-0. Set yourself and... Oh! 
I can't believe it. Off the crossbar and behind for a goal kick. And it is still 0-0 to when it's hard to restart. We have missed chance after chance after chance again. And if we don't claim the three points in this game, only ourselves to blame. This has been a mad match. Get an act to Kodja through to Josh Onoma. And Onoma on the turn releases Andre Green. This time, surely. This time, surely. Andre. Oh, he's cleared off the line by Ryan Sessegnon now. This is incredible. How is it still goalless? I'm going to bring on Dempsey in a minute because this is getting ridiculous now. I cannot believe we haven't scored yet. Jonathan Coggia. Jonathan Coggia. Saved by Bettinelli. Brereton can't turn it in. And forget it. This is mad. This is absolutely mad. We have had shot after shot after shot. And yet it is somehow still 0-0 here at Villa Park. Are we ever going to find that first goal and take the lead? Andre Green's cross. Lansbury's arriving. Oh, thank goodness for that. Henry Lansbury turns it in. Aston Villa won full of nil. I knew at some point we would score. But the longer it was going on, I was thinking, is it just going to be one of those games of FIFA where you have shot after shot but can't find a back in there? Thankfully not. A great cross to the edge of the area. Lansbury with a lovely attacking run towards the edge. Took his time. Nice composure. Controlled it. And then fired it into the bottom corner. And finally, Aston Villa had that breakthrough. Phew. What an extraordinary game of football here at Villa Park. And right from kickoff, they've given it away, Fulham. Headed clear, but straight to Jednak. And Green is through. Andre, finish this, make it two. Oh, yes, there we go. The flex off Bettinelli and into the back of the net. Aston Villa two, Fulham nil. And we well, were waiting for absolutely ages. And then one comes along, and then one comes straight after as well. Quick free ball to Andre Green, bearing down on goal. And he's had a really good start to the season as well. We talked about this youngster at the start of the campaign, someone to watch for the future. And right now, he's looking the real deal down that left hand side. So much pace, a great inside forward. The finish to flex off Bettinelli into the top corner, 2 0. And we are glad to see this man back as well. Clint Dempsey coming on today. for Josh Onoma for his first appearance since injury as we double the score and, and two quick fire ground. goals have yeah, surely now settled the nerves and the three points the have got to be in a bag or so you'd think. So Dempsey coming on against one of his former clubs and it'll be fitting if he would return with a goal as well. But uh, the most part, the most important part is that we're going to get a win or so you'd think right now surely and to be fair we could possibly make it free here but I've given the ball away. And got it straight back. Kodja. Oh, and here is Dempsey. And here is Dempsey. And here is Clint Dempsey. Oh, onto the roof of the net. Would have been perfect. So we're just waiting for the final whistle to come any second now as we try and close out the clean sheet. Terry heads away that cross. And that should do it. And there it is. Final score here at Villa Park. Aston Villa 2. Fulham nil. We extend the win streak to three. And also have another game where we score two plus goals. Gotta love that. There's a doppelganger for you. And a 2 0 victory is a really good result. Good to see Dempsey back on the pitch as well. Took a long time, but finally we got the goals we needed. I guess the question is would we have got the goals we needed and won this game had David Button stayed on the pitch? I'm not entirely sure. He was in such great form before the red card, but uh, I'm kind of glad I did do the fair play for the penalty. Just feels nice doing a, a career mode more laid back like this and uh, just, just felt like the right thing to do, really, because it was such a stupid red card. But uh, man, match to green, though. Uh, a goal and assist, and like we said earlier, uh, a really, really good young talent down that left-hand side, and he has had a great start to the season as well. So expecting big things from him going forward. And uh, Birmingham beat Millwall by three goals to nil. So they and us right now have 26 points. I cannot wait for that second city rivalry and the battle at the end of today's episode. But before that, we've got Newcastle in the Carabao Cup. What a big game that's going to be. And so here we are, last year's championship title winners, Newcastle United, taking us on here at Villa Park as we aim to make it two wins from two today and four wins in our last four in all competitions. Uh, we are fielding 11 change for the game, though, because it'll be nice against the quarterfinals, but we trust the backup brigade to get the job done. And it's opportunities for the fringe players that we normally wouldn't play to impress and see what they could do. So 4-2-3-1 for the game with Scott Hogan, supported by a trio of Adoma, Bjarnason and Grealish Act. Cam. Let's find out if we can get through to the quarterfinals or with a Premier League side would be too much for us to manage. It's going to be quite an interesting test this one, you know, our first against the Premier League side because whilst they were a championship team last season, they've still got a better team than us, especially when we're playing a backup side. But with us in form right now, I think this is a game that could go either way. You know, I really, really do. 
I really do believe that our backup team can beat this Newcastle side, as I don't think it's a full strength either heading into the match. So it should be a good game this one. Uh, should be a good clash and, and a real test of what we're made of and how thick our squad is. I don't want to lose heading into the game against Birmingham either as Rico Henry gets round one and storms into the area. What pace by Henry and across a little bit over hit towards to be honest. And I tell you, he doesn't play much at the moment due to switching to a three at the back. But Henry looks like a really good left back in this team. Signed from Brentford and Glenn Whedon heads over to be honest and cross. Still 0-0. Good start though from Aston Villa. Showing no signs of the pressure being affecting us. As we look for that first goal, and Keo tackled by Adoma, and now Henry to Huri Hain through towards Adoma. Getting a lot of joy going down the flanks early on in this game, or so it seems. Albert Adoma away from Richie, and crosses. Oh, good delivery, oh, testing ball. Rob Elliott cross. clears, and Grealish away. flicks it back towards Glenn Whelan. And I'll pop it out wide towards Rico Henry if I can. At the moment, the flanks are well getting the, uh, the space to whip in crosses. And Huri Haynes had that easily caught by Elliot. Got to keep going down those wide areas. At the moment, that's where we're getting our joy. Again, here we go down the left-hand side. Albert Adoma this time cutting inside. Adoma, Adoma, 1-0 in off the post. Albert Adoma. And I told you just a moment ago, it's the wing play at the moment that's seeing us get the joy. Albert Adoma doesn't opt to cross, but cut inside instead. And it's a really good finish as well as he curls one in off the post. 1-0 to Aston Villa. Look at this from Adoma. Quick little verbal spin beats one. Then a nice heel to heel flick round another. And then a good finesse. And then Scott Hogan hurdles the shot in mid-flight as it goes in off the post. That is a wonderful little goal by Adoma as well. A really good strike into the back of the net. Right now, Newcastle can't, pay, uh, can't cope with our wing play. So we've got to keep this up. And Benitez is going to be sweating all game long right now. Albert Adoma's had a brilliant first half. Back towards Rico Henry. He's also played well. Our attacks down the left-hand side at the moment are well getting a joy. Ball through to Hogan. Scotty Boy. Adoma. Bjarnason. Lovely build-up. Lovely goal. Aston Villa 2. Newcastle 0. That was a really, really nice goal. And Bjarnason, the Icelandic midfielder, gets his first of the season. A really good build-up. And Adoma right now is tearing Newcastle apart. Very nice build-up. Lovely ball to him after a couple of quick passes. And a really good finish by the Icelandic midfielder. Pass Rob Elliott into the top corner. Corner, and our backup brigade lead by two goals going into the half. So second half begins really and that first half could not have gone better had we planned it ourselves. <laughs> Everything went according to plan in that one. And, uh, and right now we're, we're scoring goals. We've got that problem sorted, which I'm absolutely loving. And if we can close out this game, hold on to the win, head into the quarterfinals of the Carabao Cup with a B team out there, with all our first 11 fit, fresh and raring to go, heading into the Birmingham game. What a brilliant performance and result this will be as Bjarnason's on the ball and turns and pokes it back as we look for an opening. And there's Gabby Bong Lahore, who has his shot well saved by Rob Elliott. This has just been a brilliant team display. These, these backup players are proving a point tonight that they deserve more minutes and they deserve more starts in a physically demanding and long championship season. And it's exactly what I want to see. Oh, yeah, Rico Henry wins it back. What a game he's had tonight as well. He and Adoma have had an amazing left side partnership. As we're still up by it's two goals with 18 minutes to go. Surely now we're heading into the Carabao Cup quarterfinals as Greedus gets on the ball. Look at Henry storming forward there. That's what I brought him to do as Mankio just beat his ball. Henry closes it down and wins it back and try to find Gabby. It'll drop to Jack Grealish. Oh, just wide the post. A chance here for Newcastle for a quick fight back. And we've been exposed here at the back with not many bodies back. Kieran Clark on the ball. Oh, great save, Galini. The ex-Aston Villa defender desperate for a goal, but Galini said no. He wants the clean sheet, and that'll be yet another one notched up on this really good run for Aston Villa. It's our fourth straight win. It's our fifth straight game with scoring two or more goals, and our fourth straight clean sheet too. We're into the Carabao Cup quarterfinals. Aston Villa got the problem sorted. We're clicking. We're playing very well at the moment, and this is exactly what we dreamed of at the start of the season. Long way to go, but really encouraging run of form. Definitely deserved a win. Eight shots, three on target compared to three and two. Newcastle took far too long to start getting attacks on board. And in the end, the game was beyond them when they started having proper chances. So two and final score. And a dome man the match, no doubt, for getting the goal and the assist as well. But also shout out Rico Henry too for a really good performance in the left back role. He and a dome, a nice partnership down that left flank. But a really good win, a really good display and great confidence now heading into that second City rival derby clash against Birmingham City away at St Andrews in a second versus third battle. This is going to be amazing. Such intrigue here. Which will come out on top? The highest scorers, the home team, or the visitors with the best defence? Can they be strong in these circumstances? We're moments away. Join us for the kickoff, and it's live. 
So here we are then, St Andrews is set for an amazing game, Birmingham versus Aston Villa, our first second City derby clash and I'm super excited for this one, especially because both sides have had such an amazing start to the season, a second play host to third, obviously Birmingham real life, currently sitting bottom of the table, heading into Saturday's fixtures, uh, but for Aston Villa in the game right now, we're looking to overtake them and go into the automatic spot, so same team as the one to beat Fulham by two goals, and they have one change and that's Clint Dempsey back in the starting 11 for the First time since injury and Josh Onoma dropping to the bench. Here we go. It's Birmingham. It's an Andrews. Let's get our win. Let's move into second place. Let's leapfrog our rivals here at their turf. Whilst we have been scoring a lot more goals of late, which is great to see because that was our main problem at the start of the season. Let's also shout out the boys at the back as well. And in particular, Eric Palmer Brown, who for £750,000 is already looking one of the bargains of the season. He's held down a first team spot, which I didn't expect in the first few games. And it's great to see as Kodja, oh, could have released Brereton and Kuzjak did enough. And the polling goal makes the save at Brereton's feet there. I think it was, I think it was Kodja that actually got in the way of the pass through there. And thus it carried further to the pole, but it's still nil-nil. But an excellent start there, and Brereton could be through again. And again, Kuzjak with the save denies him, still nil-nil. But what a start from the visitors. Lansbury with a corner as well, which went into the near post. Dempsey's header. And again, it's Thomas Kuzjak with the save, still nil-nil. Lansbury again, this time to Brereton, header clear. It'll drop to Palmer Brown. He'll find Andre Green. He's on the turn. He scored against Fulham. This time his shot deflects off Morrison and goes behind for a corner. But what a brilliant start from Aston Villa, we have started off like a house on fire. Dempsey's oh, header goes Dempsey. wide the post. Keep That's this pressure up, and the first goal is looking yeah, inevitable. Yeah. Like I said that Birmingham are second place for a reason, so let's not rest on this fantastic That's start. It. Let's keep it up and keep the foot on the gas pedal as Brereton looks for Cardia and finds him. And out wide is Andre Green, who scored Green. against Fulham. And Green on the turn, gets around his man. Oh, lovely ball to find Kodja. And now can he turn and whip it into the centre? He can, and Dempsey's arriving to head it home. Clint Dempsey back in the starting 11 and back on the score sheet. What a signing. This American veteran is proving to be for Aston Villa on cheap wages. Wants to guide them back to the Premier League. And he scored his first goal for the club since returning from injury. And it's 1-0 to Villa here at St Andrews. Brilliant ball by Green to find Kodja. A lovely cross to the centre. Dempsey lost his marker. And with the diving header, loops it past Kuzjak, who's had a good start and into the back of the net. 1-0 Aston Villa. And Dempsey is back on the Score sheet. What a sign in. He loves you, Dempsey. We do. He loves you, Dempsey. We do. He loves you, Dempsey. We do. Oh, Dempsey, we love you. He's been unbelievable. I mean, I can't believe it. I was thinking a cheap veteran to pick up. Helping Eric Palmer Brown, a fellow American, settle in to life in England. He knows this country. He's done it, albeit in a Premier League, twice for Fulham and Spurs. And, uh, and now he's applying his trade at Aston Villa. Still proving at 34 years old. He's more than got it, baby. He's, he's, he's still tearing things up. Dempsey, whoa. Dempsey, whoa. He came from USA to teach us how to play. I've got lots of these in my mind right now. I'm just not sure which the best one to use. Just a good header away. And now Green through the gap to Mr. Clint Dempsey. Through to Jonathan Codger. Brereton ahead of him. Finds him. And Dempsey's running through as well. We'll give it to Clint with the first time fake shot. And he's away. It could be a second for Clint Dempsey. Oh, it's off the post. Off the post from Dempsey. Codger back inside. And Brereton couldn't control it. What a half from Clint Dempsey. And what a half from Aston Villa. So it's kickoff. Restarts the match. We are still leading by one here at St. Andrews. And as things stand set for what would be an amazing victory in our first battle against our main rivals where we would leap from them, go into second place and three points clear and continue to breathe down the necks of Mick McCarthy and Ipswich Town as well. And if we do hold on to this scoreline as well, it will be five straight wins in a row and four straight clean sheets in a row as well in all competitions. And right now we're playing some scintillating football as well as Yednak finds Ben Brereton. The passing is really accurate right now. We're carving ourselves chances as Kodji hits the post and then Green turns in the rebound and Aston Villa go two goals to the good here in the 53rd minute. And Green bails on the celebration. And he had a great game against Fulham in the first match today. And for this goal, Kodja shot is the post. But he's first to react from a tight angle. That's actually a really good finish. Birmingham nil, Aston Villa 2. 
And it's also six straight games where we scored two or more goals. Great so we're not going to rule out our rivals just yet. They've been playing very good football this season in second place. And here is Che Adams who breaks clear of our back line. And Sam Johnston, the last line of defence, bails us out. And again, whilst you can't forget about how good we've been in front of goal in recent weeks, let's shout out the boys at the back as well for this epic run of clean sheets. The last thing Stan is going to continue as Dempsey releases Andre Green. Surely for the third goal and from defence to attack, we couldn't complete the play. And it's still 2-0. And that would have been our third goal and surely three points in the bag. Are we going to rue that? And three through to Brereton. And out wide towards Robert well. Snodgrass. He can strike him. It's not a bad effort. Oh, yes. It's not a bad effort. It's a very good effort. Robert Snodgrass comes off the bench and makes it Birmingham City nil. Aston Villa 3 in our first second City derby. We have been fantastic. The win streak is getting extended. And we right now are just on fire. This is what we envisioned at the start of the season. Who's that holding their shoulder as well? Is that Bustos? I think it might be. And this has been an excellent run of four and it's continuing in the best way possible. Birmingham nil, Aston Villa 3. What a goal by Snodgrass. Well, that was amazing. I didn't know what to expect coming into the game, but I knew it would be a fun one, and it certainly was fun. 3-0 the final score. What a win for Aston Villa at St Andrews. We leapfrog our rivals, make a big statement as we head into second place as well. That was a brilliant victory and a brilliant way to end today's episode. Five straight wins. Five straight clean sheets, six games, scoring two plus goals or more. And we end today's episode off with a big 3-0 victory at St Andrews. And what a great sight it was to see, to see Clint Dempsey find the back of the net for the first time since injury in his first start since returning from the treatment room as well. This episode could not have gone better out of plan to myself. Everything went exactly how I was envisioning it heading into today's episode. That was brilliant. And this is even more brilliant. We're in second place. That was, an, that was a fantastic way to end today's episode. So that would end today's episode of Korea Mode, guys. A big thank you for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it. And if you did enjoy today's episode, then please do drop a like. Thanks for watching. Much love. And I'll see you for the next episode of Korea Mode, where hopefully our form will continue very soon.